Hey guys, it's Harley Wood, back here with Caucasian. I've been teasing this video on Instagram for a little bit now. Um, if you did not see my very first video on the 4570, where were we at? Dad's property? Yeah. We were up at Dad's range. And this is how Caucasian dealt with the 4570. Check it out. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> Turn that on. Don't be a girl. Oh, yeah, no more. <laughs> you took some heat for that, man. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> How man. much you weigh? A buck ten? I've been working out since then. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, look, if you've ever shot a high powered rifle or something with significant recoil from a bench, you really got to have that rifle in the pocket. You got to be in an ideal situation, an ideal setup, because the recoil is kind of amplified when you're resting it. It's not the same as when you're, you're up and you're leaning into a rifle. So a lot of guys gave him heat for that. I mean, a little bit deservedly so. I've given him a bunch of shit over the, over the past. It's been, what, a year and a half at least? Because you were in Chicago for a while. So yep. it's, been a, it's been a while. Well, today we've got a product that uh, is a different rest than that previous one. That previous one probably weighed, I don't know, 9, 10, 12 ounces. It was really yeah. lightweight. It was from Caldwell. And Caldwell has sent us their brand new Hydra Sled. If you're familiar with Caldwell, they have what's called their lead sled. And it's a uh, shooting uh, rest that you can put weight on. And so it reduces a bunch of the felt recoil. So today we're going to try out the Hydra Sled. And it gets its name because you can fill this reservoir with water or sand or pebbles. And based on what you put in it, it weighs different amounts. We've got it filled up with water. And so I think I'll put it on the screen right here what it weighs with the different uh, mediums in it. In that video, we were shooting 325 grain Hornady uh, Lever Lucian ammo. 325 grain. Black Butterfly stepped up and sent me this for Caucasian to redeem himself. Now what you see on the tip there, think of this like an iceberg, man. This joker goes, the bullet itself goes down to about the top of my glove right there. This thing is 576 grains. I'll roll in a picture right here of what the bullet looks like outside of the casing. <laughs> He's not looking forward to this one. And I'm gonna be honest, I haven't even shot this round yet. So I'm about to get this on the chronograph. It's advertised at what, 1400? What's it saying? 1400 feet per second. So. Let's do two, three rounds through the chronograph, see how it measures up, and then you're getting on the hydra sled. Sure. With this. All right, let's forward do it. To it. <laughs> and today we're using the Pro Chrono DLX. It syncs to your phone, so you should be able to see it right here while Caucasian holds it. Ready? Ready. <laughs> you're gonna love this. <laughs> See if we can take that pine down right there. Man. All right, so you got to have some frame of reference when you get on the Hydra sled. So I have convinced him to shoot one from an uh, offhanded standing position. Go ahead, man. It's not as bad when you're when you're standing, dude. For real, right? Yeah. Leave uh, go on safe. They are ripping right through that log. <laughs> we got a pine tree about this big. It's already on the ground. All you tree huggers, shut up. Um, it's about this big and it's just ripping right through. All right, let's get the hydra sled out and rip a couple rounds through that. And we're going to shoot a couple fun things. All right, up next, we're going to shoot some gel. Now, I've been told that a standard 16 inch gel block will not capture this bullet, even though it's only moving 1400 feet per second. So he told me stick a couple two by sixes behind it and uh, it might go through those. And that's why I've stuck a cinder block behind that. Let's shoot it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll in the high speed if it captured it well. But he wasn't joking, man. That didn't stand a chance. We already came and looked for the bullet. I mean, it ripped right through those two two by sixes and just destroyed that cinder block. I have no idea. It went into that bank somewhere. I have no idea where that damn bullet is. All right, here's what we got going on now. 16 inches of gel. One, two, three, four, five, six, two by sixes, 
and what's remaining of that cinder block. Went through again. All right, let's see what happened. Definitely went through there. Went through, went through all six of them. Right here. There it is, dude. Is it hot? Oh yeah, probably. Look at the size of this beast, man. <laughs> and it did hit the cinder block. It didn't just it didn't just hit this last board and knock the cinder block down. It straight up busted the cinder block again. Stop by that. Look at that joker, man. Unfortunately, it deformed. I wish I could get one of these not deformed, but you did see the picture of it. Huge shout out to Black Butterfly. If you guys are interested, they have all kinds of badass ammo. So I'm gonna post a link in the description below. Can I do that on YouTube? I don't know. Look up Black Butterfly Ammunition if you don't see a link in the description below. Um, the communists at YouTube may not let me do that. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since you saw that shooting footage. We ended up getting rained out for the rest of that. I, we did shoot um, a lot of the tabletop review of this, but with the rain falling off the barn, the, the audio was just horrible. All right, let's talk about some of the features and functionality. So. Right here, you'll notice there's throw levers on each side. If we undo those, it allows the unit to slide back and forth. It gives you almost three inches of adjustability in terms of various length rifles. The knob on the side here, you'll see, gives you your elevation adjustment for the front cradle. It's two and a half inches of elevation adjustment. The lever you see here is your fine windage adjustment. So turning this slides that front cradle left and right. And under the rear cradle here is another elevation adjustment. This is your fine elevation, and it gives you one and three eighths inch of fine elevation adjustment. It does have rubberized feet underneath. You'll notice in some of that shooting footage, or maybe you didn't, but if you go back and look, when this tabletop was wet and the recoil hit, this did have a tendency to slide just a little bit. So they are rubberized feet, but depending on the surface that you're on, you may get various levels of traction. Another really nice plus is that you can fit 30 round magazines in here and you can change them out without having to break the gun out of the cradles. So at the time of shooting this video, this thing retails for $259. Depending on where you shop, your mileage may vary. Um, if you do a lot of sighting in of high power rifles or shotguns, um, this may be something that you want to seriously consider. I did interview um, Caucasian there after the shooting and um, you know, asked him how he felt about it. And he said, smooth as butter. I'll roll some of that in at the end here, but the raindrops were falling. It was kind of uh, annoying audio and I'm sure somebody will get butt hurt about it in the comments. But anyway, link in the description below to where you can find this guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. We've got lots more videos to come and we'll see you in the next one. All right, so you've shot several rounds out of that now. How does that compare to the, the old one? It feels like it shoots like butter now. Like I don't feel no, barely any recoil. Yeah, and compared to when you were freehanding it, obviously probably significantly less. A little bit less, yeah. Cool. 